welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Lorena. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm excited to share my fall home tour with you all. I am finished decorating for fall and if you missed it, I will link all of my fall decorate with me videos down below. But I just wanted to show you just how everything turned out and how everything looks all put together and I will try to link as much as I can down below and also stick around to the end of the video because I am sharing a very easy and yummy fall recipe with you all and if you haven't yet I would love for you to subscribe if you love anything home so let's get started with the fall home tour welcome to our home I'm very happy to share with you all just how cozy our home feels for the fall season I love this copper autumn sign. It's the first thing that you see when you walk in through our door. And then right over here is the entryway table. And I love that it's very neutral and it has just that little pop of color with the blanket and that candle. And I ended up finding this super cute little pillow at the Target dollar spot. I really love how the colors went perfect with the rest of the decor. And I just love using those blankets and pillows to make everything look extra cozy. I also ended up adding this little sign as a door hanger. I got it from the Target dollar spot a couple of years ago. And on a different door, I have this little door hanger, which I really like those pops of colors. And on our pantry door, I have this wreath from Target. And I just think it's really beautiful and the yellow just goes perfect for fall. And in our kitchen, I don't have too much. I just have a couple of fall touches. I ended up just adding this little floral arrangement and then this velvet pumpkin that I thought was very beautiful. And I found this dish towel from Home Goods, which I love so much. It just says gather and it has the cutest little animals on it. And on the other side of our counters, I have a little pumpkin that I think goes very well with the wood boards. And in the corner, I felt like it needed a little bit more pop of color. So I think that the orange here just goes very well. And I really love how coffee mugs can just add a little touch of decor. I found this one at Target and I really loved it. And on our kitchen island, I really love this wood base. I think the wood just goes very well with the bar stools and then those florals just also give that pop of color. And I added some fall touches to our little bar cart slash coffee bar and I think all the colors just go very well together. In our living room, I really love the neutral colors of the pillows, yet I still feel like they look like fall. And on our side table, I just added a couple of pumpkins and I think it's simple, but I still really love it. And I really like how on the coffee table, the colors match well with the pillows. I think everything here is pretty neutral. Since I do have that pop of color on the dining table, I think the neutral colors go very well right here. And I just tried to make this chair extra cozy with that very comfortable blanket and pillows. 
on our dining table, I added these little wood pieces and the amber glass jars. This one was definitely my favorite decor piece for fall and I just love how the florals just ties everything together very well. And right in front is my hutch. I added a garland and inside I only added two little pumpkins. I feel like sometimes less is more. I didn't want to overdo it with too many pumpkins but I still think that it looks very pretty and gives all the fall vibes. And as you're walking up our stairs, I put this fall basket in the corner and I also loved this so much. I stuck with the neutral color tones and I think it just looks very beautiful. And as you walk up our stairs, I also added this fall home sign and I think the wood just ties everything together well. And upstairs in our family room, I just kept things really simple and just added a few fall touches. I kind of just played off the colors that were already in the room. So there's lots of grays and then with the real plants, I added that greenery with pumpkin right here and just stuck with lots of shades of gray and some green. And in the nighttime, our master bedroom looks super cozy. I added some fall touches in here as well. I kept it really simple, but I think the twinkle lights and then in the second you're about to see a little pumpkin that lights up. I think all of that just makes the room really cozy and gives all the fall vibes. And now I'm sharing a very easy and yummy fall recipe. It can be a side dish or if you're vegetarian, it can be your main dish. It's just a sweet potato and veggie jumble. And I think sweet potatoes are just a perfect vegetable for the fall. So you're just going to start off by preheating your oven to 425 and then washing and rinsing your veggies. And I will be sure to leave all the ingredients and the recipe step by step down below in the description box. So I'm just starting off by peeling my sweet potato and then I'm going to dice it in half to one inch pieces. After you dice your sweet potato, you'll just put some olive oil in an oven safe dish and then spread out your sweet potatoes. The next vegetable is a poblano pepper. I'm just taking the seeds off and then just cutting the pieces to also half inch to one inch and then adding that to the sweet potato. And the last thing that I'm adding to the vegetables that will go in the oven is an onion. You can use half an onion or one fourth of an onion. This is the only onion that I had left, so I only use about one fourth, and I again just cut it to about one inch pieces, and then I mix that all together. I drizzled some more olive oil, and then added some salt and pepper, and then I popped that in the oven. And 
you will roast vegetables in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, tossing them halfway. And while those vegetables are in the oven, you'll want to cut up the rest of the veggies to add to the jumble. So I'm dicing up a jalapeno. I did one whole jalapeno. If you don't like spice too much, then you might just want to do half. So if there's any ingredients here that you don't like, just leave that part out and I'm sure it'll still taste really yummy. And then you'll need to mince one clove of garlic. Then you'll do one pint of grape tomatoes just cut in half. And the last thing you'll need to cut to add to the jumble is cilantro. I ended up doing about four tablespoons cut up, but you can do as little or as much as you want. And the lime really adds lots of flavor to the veggie jumble. I took out the vegetables from the oven when they were finished and I added the rest of the cut up veggies and the warmth of the vegetables from the oven really softens up the rest of the veggies. And then I added two limes and salt and pepper to taste and everything tastes so well mixed together. I really feel like it gives off lots of fall flavors with that sweet potato and even reheated the next day. The veggies just taste so good together and just warmed up. I feel like they are really delicious. so much for watching today's video i hope that you got all of the cozy fall vibes and an easy idea for a fall recipe don't forget to subscribe if you're new and i will see you next time